How's your day been? Very busy. How about yours? Probably less busy than yours, <laughs> but but mine was cold. So we're really excited. We have a couple of questions for you. These are our most asked from our audience right now. So we're live. Everyone's, I'm sure, going to be very excited to see you with us today. So after Nancy Pelosi was stressing the urgency of President Trump's impeachment, she's now withholding and still withholding the House's impeachment articles from McConnell's Senate. What's the strategy here and how could this potentially backfire on the Dems? Well, I think we're seeing it already is backfiring on the Dems. It's been 22 days since the House passed the impeachment articles. Nancy Pelosi, like you said, talked about the urgency. This was so important that we impeach this president. And then she sits on it. Why? Because she knows she never had the bipartisan support. The only bipartisan support is against impeachment. This has been backfiring on her since the beginning because it does, it's not based in fact, it's not based in a crime, it's based on pure pathetic politics. And Nancy's gonna lose this fight in the long run. We're already seeing it, more support for the president, more dollars into the campaign. So this is backfiring on Democrats. And even Dianne Feinstein, who is no fan of President Trump, is saying, this is so urgent, Nancy, send the impeachment articles over. So Nancy Pelosi, enough is enough. We get it, you're a California Democrat who hates President Trump, get over yourself. Do your job for once. It took her a year to pass UMC, USMCA, and that's jobs in this country. She's a terrible leader, and she abdicated her leadership as Speaker of the House to AOC and the squad. It's really sad to see. It's horrible to see. I was watching their interview today about PTSD from war is what the whole squad was standing up there representing, but I won't even get into that. By the way, I liked your passion on that answer, and the what was the political? You used three Ps. It was alliteration in a row. Political. Pathetic political partisanship something like something that. like that i don't know but i liked it a lot i'm gonna go back and watch that and say it some more often so senior trump advisor laura trump was in columbus yesterday and it was a packed house standing room only yeah. the line outside today was also huge we were out there for hours and it was just snaking around with thousands of people what does this say about ohio's current economy and support for president trump well, kind of, uh, Ohio, the Ohio economy is booming thanks to President Trump. Over 100,000 new jobs, 13,000 of those being manufacturing jobs. You know, President Obama said, oh, well, we're going to need a magic wand to get those uh, manufacturing jobs back. Well, good news for Americans, President Trump's that magic wand. He is doing the job he said he would do. And you're seeing that here. We saw it yesterday in Columbus. I was with Laura for the event. A packed house, standing room only. You know, uh, unemployment in the state of uh, Ohio has dropped a full percentage point under President Trump. It's huge. That's more jobs. It's higher paychecks. It means that people can pay their bills, save for college, save for retirement, send their kids to the schools that they want. You know, the line here is not only zigzagging down the street, it's down the street and around the block. Ohio is booming thanks to President Trump, and four more years means four more years of getting it right, of putting America first, of making sure people can pay their electric bills. We're in a confrontation with Iran right now. Not only are they backing down, thankfully, but you're not seeing the price of gas surge. Why? Because of the energy independence that President Trump has championed. When we look at the results here in America, you see it day in and day out. President Trump is doing the right thing for Americans, and it's working unbelievably well. The stock market is also at an all-time high right now. The economic explosion continues to grow. How big of an impact will the exploding economy have garnering more support for the Trump campaign this year? I think the economy is one of the strongest things we get to run on. When more promises made, were promises kept by a man who ran for president and as president has done it day in and day out for the American people. The stock market up is up. You know what that means? That means 401ks, that means retirements are increasing. That means more people are gonna be able to retire in this country and enjoy what America has to offer through their golden years. When we talk about more, a strong economy and a strong stock market, that means more jobs, more investment, more opportunity. You know, we have over 2 million more jobs available than job seekers in this country. That wasn't happening under previous administrations. Any Democrat, any one of those Democrats wins, all of this can be reversed. So it is so important that we come into cities like Toledo, we share our message of success, we get people that come to these rallies to come and volunteer for us, and that people join us, join this campaign. Text Trump to 88022, join our team, help us every day, because that means any one of those Democrats, if they beat President Trump, all of this can be undone in an instant. You heard that text Trump to 88022. Now, speaking of promises made, promises kept, yesterday was a huge victory for the rule of law and a huge win for the Trump administration in terms of the Fifth Circuit Court ruling allowing access to additional funding for the wall building. How will this impact of near $4 billion being allocated to the wall help the White House goal of reaching 450 miles of wall by the end of the year? 
This money means that we get to build that wall. And not only is it building the wall and putting up the infrastructure that President Trump promised, but it's the rest of the promises that came with securing the southern border. It means stopping drug cartels. It means ending human trafficking, ending modern day slavery, keeping this country safe every day because President Trump is delivering. You don't hear the fake news talking about the fact that there's going to be 450 miles of new wall in this country to protect those southern communities. It's drugs. It's people being trafficked. It's safety of our communities. President Trump wants safety for all Americans, and he's delivering. Absolutely. We had a Latino American outside who could not wait to get in and see his president. He loves what's going on at the southern border and is so excited for law and order. So moving on, POTUS delivered a very diplomatic speech this week following the Iranian attack. He clarified that he wants peace and does not want additional endless wars. How will his victory with this situation and Iranian foreign policy impact voters during the election cycle? People are going to see that President Trump is a man who makes promises and keeps promises. That is at 100% a fact. We can't say it enough. We can't say it enough. It's strength through peace. It's strength in this country. We, he doesn't want endless wars. He's not going and invading right now. He's taking the diplomatic approach. He's increasing sanctions on Iran, on the leading state sponsor of terror in the world. He is standing up for Americans and not only making sure our country is safe, but the world in the large is safer because of what he is doing. And we are seeing a true commander in chief, a man who not only supports our military and makes sure that if anything happened and we needed to step up and step in, we're more than ready, but that we won't need to because he's making the right calls the day in and day out. We're not putting billions of dollars on pallets and airdropping them to the Iranians. We're doing the exact opposite and it's working. You would have loved a man I met earlier, he was a 71-year-old veteran who served in Vietnam and was shot down, spent the rest of his time in the hospital. He said today, if he got a call saying President Trump was calling, um, I guess for soldiers to go out and fight for our country, he'd go in a heartbeat because he would do anything under President Trump based on what he's done for him. I literally almost cried during the interview, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> now, earlier this month, Senator Warren suggested that Trump rallies and Trump supporters in general are, are often racist and white supremacist, fueling the leftist narrative regarding POTUS's base. How do you respond to her statement? It's really rich coming from Focahontas, the fake Native American Elizabeth Warren, to talk about racism and cultural inequality in this country. She used her quote unquote ethnicity to try and better her career throughout her life. She had a video up until a year ago that talked about how she was a Native American and how that came about for her family. So you know what? When she decides to actually own up to the fact that she is not a Native American and that she has lied openly to the American public for years and tried to benefit her career, maybe then she can start taking swings at President Trump. But also, she's never been to one of our rallies. She has no idea what this crowd looks like, who these people are. I talked to a woman today from Honduras who is here, who loves the president, who became a legal citizen in the United States. She voted for him in 16. She's going to vote for him again in 20. She is what we represent. This, she's what this president represents. It doesn't matter your race, color, creed. None of that matters to this president. It is about being American and Americans first. You just gave me chills. <laughs> Last question. Speaking of rallies, yes. um, there's rumors circulating that there might be a rally at the end of this month. Can we expect another rally to be announced before the Iowa caucuses? Well, we do have another rally before the Iowa caucuses. We're going to be in New Jersey. So we will be We will be in New Jersey. We're very excited to go. Um, and, you know, as our rallies are ready, we're going to get them announced. But you should expect to see this president everywhere across the country, all the way up to November 3rd, 2020, making sure that he, we get to every country, every state. We are all ev we are everywhere to make sure that President Trump wins again. Absolutely. We love that. All right. And what are we texting? We're texting Trump to 88022. All right, thank you so much, Aaron. Have a great day. We'll, we'll be here if you need us. <laughs>